Before we get into today's video, I have something really awesome to share with you guys. If you guys remember my boy Golden Goose for the NCAA Road to Glory and the Wild Geese Dynasty and NCAA, well, he's coming at you guys with his first ever Madden series, and it is super unique. It's a Madden Superstar series like we've seen in the past. Uh, like you guys remember Madden 07 and I think that was maybe the last one that it was in, maybe Madden 08. Uh, but he uses games like GTA, NCAA 14, Madden 09, that was the last Superstar mode, and Madden 19 to tell one crazy story. If you guys like the Madden Superstar modes of past, NCAA Road to Glory, you're going to love this. Here is a It's my peek. pleasure to introduce you to Brett Morgan, a man who's hoping to hush his critics and defy all odds, a man who eats, sleeps, and breathes football, a Los Angeles native who plays for Lakewood High School. Now, he's not your typical halfback standing at 6'2", 315 pounds. No one really believed he could run the rock, not even his own coach, but in his senior year, he got the starting job and pretty much ran over everybody in his path. This man literally refuses to go down. Not one tackler can take this man down solely. And not gonna lie, I'm pretty hyped up for this series myself. If you're gonna watch the first episode right now, the link is gonna be in the top line of my description. Check it out. Tell them Bengals sent you. And yeah, would really appreciate you guys doing that. His content's actually really, really solid. So definitely wouldn't be doing this if it wasn't. NCAA was awesome, and I'm sure this will be as well. Really love the GTA concept. So, yeah, be sure to click that link, check it out, and then get back here. What's going on, guys? Bengal Gator coming back at you with another video. Did I mumble through that enough? Bengal again here. And I'm doing a video that I saw on Kenny's channel, King of the Fourth Quarter. I'll have a link to his channel down in the description below. Kenny, if you're watching this, uh, you're better at coming up at ideas than I am. So, uh, I'm taking it. We're doing a Madden Draft My Team. So, we're going to take any random team here. Uh, let's go ahead and choose the Rams since it might be a little while before we get to them in an actual rebuild. And we're going to have it be a fantasy draft. And we're going to have the CPU draft my team. And uh, we'll try to rebuild that. Get them to the promised land. So fantasy draft. And we'll see who we end up getting. I'll simulate to the end. And then we'll go over the team. We pick number 22 overall. All right. See you at the end. All right, went to get water. Got my uh, UGF Pandas merch on. Shout out to Big Old Drewski. And we're gonna we're gonna see what we have. You guys like that uh, controller catch? Pretty good, huh? All right. So we got the Rams quarterback Jared Goff. That could be worse. He's a young player with quick development, so that's actually pretty good. And he's also good at right now, so I like that. Offensive line consists of. Taylor Lewan, I believe Denzel Good, Ramon Foster, I don't know, he, or I didn't know that he was playing center now, Brian Winters, and God, how do you always follow me? Get out of here, no, goodbye Eric Flowers, you Brian Winters, Denzel Good, I guess is going to play right tackle, and we just don't have a right guard, is it Denzel Good, I don't want to be keep calling him that, it is, all right, David Njoku set the valve, so we picked up two Browns tight ends, we got Randall Cobb, Kendrick Bourne, Leontay Carew, Chris Godwin. Ooh, that's Traquan Smith. I'm actually down for this. 22 years old, quick development. That's going to be nice. We also have Chris Godwin, young receiver. I'm probably going to try and trade Randall Cobb. I know he's 28 years old, but this is as good as he's going to be. So I'm, I'm just done with that. So we have a good offense. We also have Brock Osweiler and Hook'em Horns, Colt McCoy. At running back, Chris Thompson, CJ Anderson. Um... We have Le'Veon Bell? Hold on just a minute here. I gotta turn injuries off. Alright. Wow. Le'Veon Bell shakes things up just a little bit on the offensive line. We also have Nick Easton. Uh, Vikings player, I believe. Out of Harvard. Wow. Wow. So that's pretty cool. Who is this? Rod Smith. Jeez. Oh, Maybe should have known that. But uh, Deion Sims also... It's an interesting group. Also, Eli Rogers didn't even notice him. Defense is going to be worse. You can see by the overall, it's just not going to be as good. Let's, uh, let's move me up here, by the way. Defense, bang. So, we have an interesting group, to say the least. Gotta love a Texas Longhorn and Kenny Vaccaro. Reggie Nelson's like 100 years old. We also have New York Giant Michael Thomas. We have uh, Ron Parker 
a New York Giant, Curtis Riley. Harold Landry's a really cool one. I like that a lot. He fits the scheme. Quick development. Rookie as well. Good stats on him already. Mark Barron. John Bostic. I don't really love Mark Barron, Corey Toomer as well. Lorenzo Carter I like. Also Vincent Ray. That's kind of nice. Marcus Peters I might try and trade. I just don't. I mean, he's only 25 with quick development. We'll hold on to him. And then uh, another Ram, by the way. And then Jason Verrett, Terrence Mitchell, Ross Cockrell as well. I like Jason Verrett, but I know how he develops in this. And at 27 years old, and how awesome do these Rams jerseys look, by the way? They are so good. I don't know. We'll see what happens with Jason Verrett and the uh, defensive line. Tyrone Crawford, Ronald Blair, former Appalachian State guy. I don't know why I remember that. Um, Julius Peppers has got to go. He's 38. I just can't. It's just not going to work. I If I can trade him, I will. And our D-tackle situation is actually sick. Kenny Clark and then Michael Pierce. Michael Pierce is going to play defensive end. He's going to make a perfect 3-4 end for me. Now, his overall might drop a little bit. Doesn't really matter. He's going to fit the scheme really well. He's going to play over Julius Peppers, who I'm going to try to trade. And all in all, I feel like this was actually a really, really good draft. The CPU has done wonders for me here, which I didn't think was going to happen. But now, we need to get better at inside linebacker. I think at outside linebacker, we're fine for now. You know what? I feel like we're actually in more of a 4-3 personnel. Harold Landry might slide down to 4-3 defensive end. Same thing with Lorenzo Carter. And we'll trade Tyrone Crawford. Keep Michael Pierce at defensive tackle. Keep Kenny Clark at defensive tackle. And... So we have Sill Williams is bald now, geez, and Michael Bennett. Um, yeah, we will we will try to make some trades. I want an inside linebacker and probably a safety. Also, Kenny Vaccaro, I like him. I love Kenny Vaccaro. I don't know if he's going to be the guy for me. So we need a safety, a middle linebacker, probably. We need we need linebackers. Period. And then I honestly think we're kind of fine at wide receiver for the first year. And the offensive line isn't terrible. This is actually a pretty good team. I think we're going to compete. I also got Robbie Gold. This is a pretty good young team. Like the CPU has kind of done wonders here. All right, first trade going to be Julius Peppers, Tyron Crawford, and Mark Barron for David DeCastro. When I tell you it's impossible to trade for players, it is impossible. And I know... Oh, you just put it for a, or trade it for a 95. What do you mean impossible? Well, as David DeCastro, I guess, is going to play center now. I would be more comfortable with sliding Brian Winters inside, if I'm being honest. It is impossible to trade for anyone but offensive linemen. It really stings. I don't think I can get anybody in year one. I think it's because uh, all these contracts have been restructured, so the CPU values them differently. It's kind of weird. And then uh, Ramon Foster's 32. I, li I would like to trade him because I just know he's going to be a lot worse and not starter material. But I'm telling you, it, it is tough to trade for anyone but offensive linemen. This trade's going to be Ramon Foster, Randall Cobb, and C.J. Anderson for a first and a third from the Bucks. They have Ryan Tannehill at quarterback, so I'm kind of banking on the fact that they're going to be terrible. I also want these three receivers to play. Um, So... Specifically, Traquan Smith. I want him to get a lot of targets. So we're rocking with that. And uh, I'm trying to make the team just a little bit younger. And I think I'm probably done with trades. We're just... We'll do better in the offseason. Because no one's going to want Ron Parker. Nobody's going to want some of these random players. So we are going to simulate now to the midseason mark. And I'll give you guys a little update about how this sick team is doing. It actually is pretty good. Oh, yeah, I want to change to a 4-3. Let me do that. Well, I guess I don't have to. We'll, we'll stick to what it is right now. 6-2 and two at the midseason mark, doing fairly well. Seahawks are 7-0. and oh. Do we have their first round? No, no, no. We almost... We traded with them, maybe. It's hard to say. I, I don't remember because all these teams are different. Who do the Seahawks have? B-Wag, Saquon Barkley, Matt Ryan. It's a pretty good team. Would I want to re-sign Chris Thompson? Could be a sign-and-trade sort of deal. The rest, I don't really care about too much. Chris Thompson re-signs. I'm going to sit on Britton Colquitt for a little bit. I don't really...
think we need to get too hasty there. Make any rough decisions. Or rash decisions, rather. But uh, we're going to go ahead and upgrade everybody. And make those uh, those decisions at the end of the year. Which we will now simulate to. I think this is a playoff team, pretty clearly. Alright, playoff time. We're in there. First round by The CPU really did a fantastic job drafting. I really can't give them enough credit. We'll check out the stats. Jared Goff was fantastic. It looks like. But 14 interceptions is just a little bit too many. He had a good season. Le'Veon Bell was excellent per usual. Receiving. Traquan Smith led our team in catches. Chris Godwin in yards and touchdowns. He had a great season. Really good combo at receiver. Our offensive line was Denzel Good. I get it. Marcus Peters led our team in tackles. Reggie Nelson and Kenny Vaccaro. That's a... What are you playing like? How many strong safeties were playing at one time? How many safeties? I don't know. Tackles for loss. Kenny Clark was good. Did we get any pressure? Like, not really. I should have made sure uh, we had the correct guys plugged in for the spots in the specialist area. Marcus Peters and Jason Verrett both had three picks. Force fumbles. Jason Verrett had the only one on our team. And then no defensive touchdowns. We had the third offense in the NFL and the second defense. So we really played well. NFL MVP is Lamar Jackson with the Bears. Jared Goff at number two. Le'Veon Bell at number nine. NFC Offensive Player of the Year is also Lamar Jackson, Le'Veon Bell 4, Jared Goff 6. Defensive Player of the Year goes to Khalil Mack and the Redskins, just like in my Giants franchise. If you guys watch that series on the channel. Offensive Rookie of the Year is Lamar Jackson. Traquan Smith at 5. Defensive Rookie of the Year is Rashawn Evans. Kaiser White at 7. i surprised he played. Alright, Chris Godwin. And How amazing do these uniforms look, by the way? Chris Godwin goes up to star development, and that is from a Pro Bowl appearance. He just had a really good season, and then, like, everyone's getting better. I really want to focus on Traquan Smith. I'm a little bit annoyed he didn't do better. I probably should have had him in the specialist slot position to get him more targets and more yards. He probably would have done better, but that is my fault. Got to do better at right end. Ronald Blair is just not going to cut it. And then... I feel like the team is overall pretty solid. Offensively, it is even better for most of these guys if you guys did not see the overalls. But we're in the playoffs. We're going to simulate game by game. Not going to hop in and maybe till the second or third season as we advance to the conference championship. We got the Panthers to make it to the Super Bowl. And we're going to make it to the Super Bowl. We beat them 38 or 31-28. And I should probably hop in for this one. And even in simulation, with a fully fantasy drafted team by the CPU, the Rams are still crushing it. We'll hop into the Super Bowl. We'll do play the moments and maybe jump in at the end. Make a dynasty out of it. We're only at 85 overall, but this team is just killing it. The Colts have Andy Dalton. The Red Rifle. Jason Verrett had a 78-yard interception return. Wow. Wow. Andy Dalton really came out dealing to the other team. Things are going pretty well for us, though. Up 17-10. to 10. We'll have another red zone opportunity. 24-10 over the Indianapolis Colts at halftime. And now at the start of the third quarter. We are in a great position to win this Super Bowl. 27-13 as the fourth quarter is underway. 34-13 now. And it looks to be about over. 37-13. We will hop in and see the celebration but this one's in the books Traquan Smith in motion he's got some pretty good speed and they're clearly going for the football that annoys me I just want to stay in bounds end the game so we have won the Super Bowl Jason Verrett with three interceptions and a touchdown is your Super Bowl MVP Jason Verrett he had his season total of interceptions all in one night Relax, Jason. Relax. Chris Godwin, Jared Goff, John Bostick, and Le'Veon Bell up on the podium with the first of hopefully many Lombardi trophies raised high to the sky. 
see you for the off season and then season number two. Let's get after it. How much XP? Do you, well, first of all, Jason Brett's down in normal development, which kind of sucks. So he won Defensive Player of the Week. You should get more for Super Bowl MVP, in my opinion. Defensive touchdown, three interceptions. He got 5,000 XP for that one week, which is pretty good. The Super Bowl win obviously counts for a lot of that. You get a lot of XP just for winning. But I don't understand why he got downgraded in development. I hate to see it. There's going to be nobody in free agency. Well, nobody worth getting. Gio Bernard, who cares? Trent Murphy would actually be all right for us, to be honest. All I'm looking for is a punter. Sam Martin will do. We got Sam Martin to be our new punter. Not too bad. And, uh, yeah, it's draft time. I mean, there's just, as I said, nobody in free agency. So there's no point. Time for the NFL draft. We're going to pick 13th and then 32nd overall. All right, so obviously you don't need a quarterback. Deion Gates out of Ole Miss looks like the pick. He really does. Is anyone else going to blow me away here? Reed Davenport looks pretty good. Might just hope he falls. Do I want to miss out on anybody here? Roman Yancey. What an insane cover middle linebacker. That's a player I might want to trade back up for. Oh, there's actually some real talent here down the board. There really is. I think I'm going to take that defensive end, though. Pass rusher out of Ole Miss, Deion Gates. He looks really good. Versatile as well. Welcome to the team, Deion Gates. 80 overall quick development. Ranked at number 12. We took him at number 13. 86 finesse move to go with 82 speed. 85 strength, 80 tackle. Pretty good player. He'll come in and start immediately. And that is very good. I do want to trade up. Because we don't pick for a little while now. And not that we need a cornerback. But Femi Rodriguez looks really good. And I really want either Roman Yancey. Who is this? Oct Octavius True Luck. He looks incredible as well. Crazy 40 in the 4-4s. Four I would be cool with getting either of these guys. And then Reed Davenport looks really good as well. He looks really solid. I might just go as Roman Yancey just goes off the board. That's making me a little bit nervous. I'm going to trade up to this pick to get Oct Octavius. I want to call him Octavius, but it's just not it. It's Octavius True Luck. What a ridiculous storybook name. All right, it's a first next year and a third this year for number 16 overall. I think that first round pick is going to be essentially valueless. So we are taking that middle linebacker. I think he's going to be close to an 80 overall, whether he hits that exact mark or not. Not sure, but he looks pretty sick. Welcome to the team. 81 overall quick development. Ranked number four in the class. 88 speed, 84 tackle, 84 zone coverage. He is kind of a beast. 81 man as well. Yeah, that's a fantastic addition to our linebacking core. Linebacking, linebacker core. LB core, whatever you want to say. And we still have a pick at number 32. There goes Perry Perry. Creative parents you got there, Perry 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 Perry. I think this is... I don't even know. Do we transition to a 4-3 defense? I don't know. I think we might trade this pick away. Who picked number one overall? The Niners? see if I can get their first round pick next year. All right. One, three, and a Chris Thompson for the, hopefully, the first overall pick of next year's draft. And we're going to simulate now to the fourth round. Don't think there's going to be a ton of value. And that's the player we would have taken, Houston Fiala, who is a 76 overall. So kind of glad at this point we didn't take him. Not that that's a bad pick, but just like, I don't know, we didn't miss out on much. The annoying thing is I don't know anything about some of these players. Like, absolutely. Should we just take this center in hopes that we can maybe play him at guard? Or center, even? Todd Callahan. Not strong at all, but he's fast, so he's going to be valueless. 69 overall. Nice. We're going to simulate to the end. Pretty good draft for us. Top two picks. Crushed it. And then the rest was... Uh, Eh, not that great. Not even good, I would say. 
Oh yeah, we need a right tackle. That's right. Wide receiving core is good. Could use another one though. Always good, I guess. And then defensively, I think we're in a really good spot. But this is just not 3-4 personnel. Harold Landry is going to slide down and play defensive end. Michael Pierce will slide inside a defensive tackle. This is a 4-3 team, and I like that. Is the team for season two. It's a good squad. Offensively, we're really good. Defensively, Harold Landry is an 87 overall at right end and not outside linebacker. Gates is going to start at left end, which is awesome. John Bostic is an 81 overall with confidence at right outside linebacker. We have True Luck, who's an 81 overall. Lorenzo Carter is going to start. We play in a 4-3 now. We have to improve at free safety. But we are in a really, really good spot. The dynasty is looking good. Mid-season mark. We are 4-4. Four and four. Some dynasty, right? What is happening? We were at 87 overall. Now we're at 85. What changed? Confidence, maybe? Oh, that's right. Regression. Did you regress at all? I don't know. I'm not sure. I guess we signed David Questenberry out of free agency. Which is cool. Uh, I think he's actually... He has cancer in real life, which sucks. But it's cool to actually have him back in. Have him on the team. This is the upgraded team. No one's really got upgraded at all to be fair this year as things aren't going as well but we're going to the playoffs now with high hopes i would hate to win the super bowl and then have such a bad super bowl slump that we don't make the playoffs that would suck and we've made the playoffs snuck in at nine and seven all right the seahawks crush it again fifth offense 30th defense that's the difference right there we sucked Jared Goff was good. Le'Veon Bell was better. 5.9 yards per carry is ridiculous. David Njoku and Traquan Smith both had 77 catches. David Njoku had 13 touchdowns. Though. Traquan had an unbelievable year. Charles Scott, or Charles Godwin. Chris Godwin was very solid as well. Offensive line lets up limited pressure. And then Octavius True Luck was pretty solid. Bunch of tackles. Might be good enough for Rookie of the Year defensively. Bunch of tackles for loss. We're just not getting the pressure that I'd like to see. We'll get there. Interceptions, Marcus Peters had four. That's good to see. Force fumbles, Octavius True Luck was great again. Sounds like a, the name of a vampire or something, dude. I don't even know what to do with that. Octavius True Luck. It just, it just sounds ridiculous. Todd Gurley was MVP with the Bears. Lamar Jackson at number two. What team am I again? Or the Rams. Le'Veon Bell at number 10. NFC Offense Player of the Year is Todd Gurley. Le'Veon Bell at 4. No Jared Goff. Defense Player of the Year is Miles Jack. No Rams. Offense Rookie of the Year is CJ Houghton. For the Falcons, no Rams. And then Defense Rookie of the Year is Octavius True Luck. Deion Gates at 8. Can't 8. Pretty great. This is the upgraded team. 88 overall, 91 offense, 89 defense. Need to get better defensively. Where am I going to look in the offseason? Free safety and outside linebacker. Defensive line sick. Cornerbacks are pretty great. Let's go ahead and simulate. Can we beat the 11-5 Panthers? We can. I want to see what my overall is compared to the Bears who went 14-2. We're not going to play this game. They're at 89. So we're right in the same neighborhood. I don't think it'd be insane to suggest that we could possibly win this game. We'll upgrade just a little bit. All right, can we advance to the conference championship? Barely beat the Panthers 24-21, and we can't. Holy shit! Let me show you guys the score. Uh, unbelievable. You got, I don't think you guys are ready. How many points? Think about it in your head. What do you think the score was? How many points do you think the Bears dropped specifically? How many points? I'll give you a minute. Oh, you think, wow, they probably scored a lot of points, or a little, depending... On if they beat us, maybe 3 nothing, But no. Maybe they scored 30. Maybe they dropped 40 on us. 50? Uh-uh. They dropped 70 points. They beat us 70 to 17. 650 total yards. 70 points. Huh? 
Like, are you kidding me? Lamar Jackson threw for seven touchdowns. Jared Goff was terrible. Lamar Jackson was unbelievable. Todd Gurley it was also great. Uh, Le'Veon Bell was great, to be fair. <sighs> Who had all these touchdowns? Two for Christian Kirk, Austin Hooper, Michael Crabtree, Todd Gurley, Chris Herndon, Jarek McKinnon. Unbelievable. <laughs> Kenny Vaccaro did all right. I mean, what do you even say? We got, we got absolutely smashed. Who let up all these catches? Catches allowed. Let's see who got burned. Octavius Truelock, Kenny Vaccaro allowing five is a lot. Verrett, Peters. The entire secondary really was just absolutely horrific. Good lord. I don't even know what to say about that. We let up 70 points. I've never seen that before. For like a good team. The Bears win the Super Bowl, obviously. I would hope so. Robbie Gold, a free agent. I do kind of want to bring back Ronald Blair. He's good depth. Blair, Gold, both resign. We're ready for free agency. I don't think there's going to be much value here. We need to improve at wide receiver. Kendrick Bourne, not doing it for me. Of course, he's not on the team anymore. Von Bell is here. Is that good? It's not terrible. Justin Evans has no zone coverage. I already know that. Huh. I don't know. There are a lot of weird cornerbacks in here that have developed well for some reason. I'm down for Von Bell, honestly, playing my free safety. Von Bell has accepted he's on the team now. He will be playing free safety. Not Ron Parker, who's down to his 71 overall. NFL draft time. We pick number 15, really? That's where that pick valued out to be? Fantasy draft is weird. Oh, pretty decent pick by the Steelers. Wow, Kobe Russell out of Louisville looks pretty sick. Too bad we don't need a defensive tackle. Damara Cromarty. Pretty sick name. Good ability. This guy looks like a tank out of Oklahoma. Jarrell Lauderdale actually looks insane for a run support safety. I just don't know if I could sign him. Sidney Hart might be the play. He probably is. We'll take him out of Oregon. Sidney Hart, can you start? Yes. He is the best player in the entire draft. Number one overall. We took him at number 15. Quick development as well. We've drafted really, really well in this franchise. 90 tackle, 91 hit power, 80 speed, 88 acceleration, 82 block shed, 85 pursuit, 84 strength. He is a very, very good player. Not a great zone cover guy, but overall, obviously, he's pretty sick. Second round now. If the wide receiver that I want to sell on the board, we're going to take him. He is. Ellis Skinner out of Mizzou. Not that fast, but I think it'll work well in the slot, which is where I need him. 75 overall, only 21 years old. Decent route runner. for Oh, obviously, sick route runner, actually. Decent hands. Release is low. Spectacular catch is low. Speed isn't where I need it to be. He'll be a decent slot option without route running for sure. Quinton Simpkins out of Kentucky looks pretty good. Now, he's slow, but he'll be a good backup because he has super high block shed. 76 overall normal development, ranked at number 36. So he'd be a top end second round draft pick. 83 tackle, 87 block shed. 79 speed is low, but uh, he's pretty good, actually. Really good for a third round pick, in my opinion. And now DeMichael Ellerby out of South Carolina looks pretty sick. And again, he's not an athlete. He ran a 5 11 40. Which I, I would say probably 5 one, 1 But you never say 1s because uh, no one runs a, like a 4-1. Basically ran a 5 one, 40. Really ungodly slow. Especially at 6'3", 227. That's terrible. He's a 71 overall. Pure pass rusher. Good hit power. Yeah, I mean, he's just... That speed is just horrific. And we'll take another receiver. Haynes Andrews out of Temple. Another player. We just hate speed. 471, welcome to the team. 
68 overall, 82 speed at wide receiver. Can't run routes, and he can catch pretty well. Take that for what it is, I guess. Not that great, obviously. Another good draft. Got a starter in Sidney Hart, best player in the draft. Can't hate on that. And then some decent role players. I'm signing the beast that is Tommy Bohannon. And also, Tajay Sharp's here in free agency. And, like, that somewhat interests me. But I think I would rather just uh, play Skinner there. I like his upside. He is a youngin, 21 years old. Normal dev is, is what it is. But overall, it's a good team. We need to improve at a left and right guard. Defense is good. The defense somehow became the best part of this team. Or not left and right guard. Left guard and right tackle. David DeCastro clearly we're fine with that. Mid-season mark. We are bang. Four and four. That's like more of a like a than a bang. You know, I don't know what that noise just was, but it feels it feels like it fits. Yikes. That that was weird. Um Yeah, we just need to uh like win, you know? I think that'd be cool. Alright, so we made the playoffs. No, did we not? Oh, we totally didn't. I didn't see the practice squad players sign. We totally did not make the playoffs. Life really comes at you fast, huh? This is the free agency and offseason of the offensive linemen. I'm telling you. Unless we were good on offense and trash on defense again, Jared Goff was all right. Le'Veon Bell was sick, per usual. Receiving, Godwin was great. Traquan Smith was good. Njoku was sick. 10 TDs. Why do we have two left tackles playing? Where? Oh, he's starting at a different position. Okay. Sidney Hart was great. He really had an incredible year. But tackles for loss, Michael Pierce was sick. Quarterback sacks, eight and a half for Michael Pierce and Harold Landry, five for Gates and Blair. But check out this. Check this out. Octavius True Luck had seven interceptions. What are you doing? What an absolute goon. I love to see that. Force fumbles? Oh, one. Okay. Safety for Octavius True Luck. Give him Defensive Player of the Year already. If he doesn't win, it is rigged. Seventh offense, 32nd defense, 25th. I don't know. It's good. I don't know. Russell Wilson wins MVP of the 4 and 12 Titans. Okay. How does, it, how does an MVP play on a 4 and 12 team? Le'Veon Bell, number 7. NFC Offensive Player of the Year, Le'Veon Bell. N -n Jared Goff at 10. To say no other Rams. Defense Player of the Year is Miles Jack. There's just simply no way it was not Octavius True Luck. He comes in at number four. Sidney Hart at number five. Offensive Rookie of the Year is Ben Chatham. No Rams. Defensive Rookie of the Year, Sidney Hart. 99 heart rating. That's what gave him that award. He plays with heart. I can't believe we didn't make the playoffs, though. What a. What a fallacy. Of course, the uh, fallacy being that we'd easily make the playoffs, but... Traquan Smith is an impending free agent, as is Terrence Mitchell, who I'm honestly cool with letting go. I do need Traquan Smith, though. And he re-signs. He's been pretty good. Brian Winters, I'm going to let test the market. I'm going to see what's there, you know? I'm going to see what's there. We got Trey Flowers, Brian Winters rejected. We got Michael Gallup, Connor Williams, and Frank Ragnow. Taylor Lewan has regressed considerably. Frank Ragnow is big for us. And then Connor Williams, who played tackle at Texas, will play tackle again. Hook him horns, by the way. He plays right tackle now. There you go. We also signed James White. I want to have a backup, so he is that backup. We pick at number 11 overall because uh, we didn't make the playoffs. I need a center, right? What else do I need? How about this sicko? A USC. No. I don't even know what to take here. I'm like leaning towards Rajon Culver for some reason. but I think it's going to be Christian Hope out of Texas. Hook him horns. Welcome to the team. 82 overall quick development. Yes. Rank number five in the class somehow at 82, really. This might be a stacked class. So, uh, he's a pretty good player. 
He will start at right outside linebacker, most likely. And then we pick at number 11 overall. Offensive line is not great in this class, by the way. It's got to be back-to-back -back Texas with that good 420 Kush. Hook him horns. Ah. He probably will start at center, honestly, because that's the way this game works. And just move anywhere, anyone, anywhere. A first-round player available in the third round. All right, Dakota with an H on the end. Why not? All right, he's a first-round player for sure, number 27. Good backup, special team player. This looks like a pretty good fifth-round center, to be honest. Any strong? This might be a really good steal. You started center now, sir. Nathan Kustak. And that's a draft. So another solid draft. We did well. And the CPU drafted a 76 overall running back. To be our third string. Hell yeah, dude. Parrish Dawson. This is the offense. Looking pretty sick. I honestly want to put Michael Gallup. Boom. There. Defensively. Uh, also. I mean, like, we're, we're looking really good. That's all you can say about that. Jason Verrett. Regressing rapidly. It is what it is. You win some, you lose some. And, um... Yeah, I'll see you guys for the midseason mark. Or at 5-2 and two at the midseason mark. Doing quite well, sitting atop the NFC West. Coincidentally, now that we don't have the 49ers first round pick, they decide to suck again. They're 0-8. And, and uh, yeah, we got some upgrade points all around. Which I love to see. This team is, has gotten really good really quickly. We have made the playoffs at 11 and 5, securing a first round bye. Have some. Can we just go brain dead for a minute? I don't know. Jared Goff had a pretty good season. Le'Veon Bell was also, again, insane. Receiving Godwin, Traquan Smith, David Dujoku, excellent players. Michael Gallup uh, played sometimes, maybe. Defensively, we were great again. Tackles for loss, Kenny Clark, Harold Landry holding it down. And Harold Landry also had 14 sacks. Eight for Kenny Clark, seven for Michael Pierce. Interceptions. Numbers are down quite a bit, but hey, not too bad. Force fumbles, a uh, decent bit. At least one defensive touchdown. That's Luke Norris. Who in the hell are you? Second ranked offense and third ranked defense. That's what I like to see. When the defense plays well, we play well. Josh Rosen is on the Eagles and playing fairly well. Jared Goff, number five. Le'Veon Bell, number seven for MVP. NFC Offensive Player of the Year is Josh Rosen. So you tell me Le'Veon Bell, number seven. Jared Goff, number eight. But for MVP, they were higher. But in the NFC, for the entire NFL, but for the NFC, they're ranked lower? I don't, I don't like that logic at all. I know uh, Le'Veon Bell is in the exact same spot as Miles Jack wins another Defensive Player of the Year. Sydney Hart at number 8. Offensive Rookie of the Year goes to Roosevelt Bridges. Interesting. Uh, I don't know why that name, like, hit something for me. It's, like almost sounded like Ruby Bridges. If you guys know anything about her. Defensive Rookie of the Year goes to Rajon Culver, who we almost took. He's up to an 89. Okay. Okay. Christian Hope at number 7. 11 and 5. Let's upgrade the team. And I'll show you guys the unit for the playoffs. 99 offense. These are those fellers. And 97 defense. We've built an absolute squadron out here. And fantastic draft picks have helped considerably. D-line is sweet. Harold Landry is up to a 96 overall. Just killing it out of BC. Although his development remains a quick. Quite a haircut on him as well. That's a good face scan. I'll give credit where it's due. All right. Can we beat the Panthers? Video on the line. Yes. And I think we'll actually play the moments for this Cardinals game. Trying to get another Super Bowl. Are y'all ready? I don't think so. They're an 89 overall. Let's just mow through them and move on. 24-19. Let's just kill the clock, dude. I can't let the Cardinals come back. Third and five. Wide open over the middle. That is Steven. I don't... 
Not sure who that is. Oh my goodness, Le'Veon Bell on third and 28. I just kind of ran backwards trying to kill some time. He gets 100 yards, and he ices the game. Didn't get the first down. Hey, it don't matter. GG, Arizona. It's going to be the Jets in the Super Bowl. Probably their only hope to make it would be a fantasy draft. We are much better, which can only mean one thing, uh, a certain loss. Up 24-13 now in the fourth quarter. And it looks like we're going to score some more points. 31-13. And uh, they are going to get the onside kick. Third down. We'll hop in the game. And some sick looking jerseys. Some uniforms. And likely win our second Super Bowl of the video in, what, four years? Not bad. Wide open slant. That's Chris Godwin. And that is the ball game. Let's see if we can score another touchdown. All right, we have a number of options here. I'm looking really at Njoku, David Njoku, Traquan Smith, Chris Godwin, or Le'Veon Bell. Absolutely do not want to throw the ball to Michael Gallup. I want a touchdown. And we're going to lob that ball up. Great, great. Pressure got in quick. But whatever. That is another Super Bowl victory. So, can I rebuild a team that Madden drafted for me? I guess. I, I guess I didn't really have to. It was a pretty good team at first. And then we, we made a lot of good changes through the draft and free agency and whatnot. But uh, overall, yes, I think I can. Shocker. I've won more Super Bowls in this video then let's see like every other rebuild on my channel combined this year pretty good jared goff is your super bowl mvp i think is that camera angle it's not popping up whatever you guys have seen the celebration already joey bosa Le'Veon bell jared goff uh chris godwin of course our linebacker with the ridiculous name octi octavius true luck it's just, just insane but That'll do it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.